A strange face stares back at Odell Downing in the rearview mirror. The large mascot mask he now wears upon his head masks his true emotion. But under that mask, Odell is smiling just as much as that mask is. He was now in his element. The thrill that came from the kill. And with the world now well and truly falling apart, there would be much more of that to come. Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead into our short survival series. We are here, of course, with Odell Downing, just outside of a derelict barn, and just to the south of Russell. We discovered a lab in the last, well, we saw it, we're not going in there, no siree, uh, but we did discover a pretty big town kind of stretches from Drew Plantation up here in the north all the way down and uh, well at least down here there doesn't seem to be as much of a presence of those strange fungal creatures however no evac shelter no sign of living people Odell is still compelled to drive on until we find those living souls tired as he is we are going to push on. I have gone ahead and removed the turban that we had as uh, it was a little bulky with the food person mask, which is providing us enough warmth at the moment for our heads. So we've got that going for us. We're actually going to take a caffeine pill to start off with. We might actually even take two, just hoping that we are going to be able to uh, stay up a little bit longer today as we didn't sleep at all last night, or rather we had some terribly interrupted sleep our car roars into life and with four percent gasoline it should be able to carry us a decent ways still at least that is the hope we've got some food supplies in the trunk of this and a lot of welding equipment and other tools unfortunately we did have to leave some of those things behind we had a run-in with some police bots but you know that's bound to happen and so for now we are going to continue to drive to the south hoping of course that on the outskirts of one of these towns we are going to see an evac shelter that's the hope that is the hope and so we drive on crossing our fingers odell unsure of what we will find well we find a vehicle and it might it's actually in better condition than our own well i mean it is and it isn't it could still be worth us having a look at it. I mean, the driver's seat does have its seat belt. It has controls. Yeah. Yeah. It could very well have gas as well. So let's go ahead and just pull the handbrake and we will just let go of the controls for now. We'll leave our vehicle on and we'll examine this one. Okay. 10% gasoline, 60% battery, all together better. So as long as we can get it started easy done and actually having a look at the engine the engine does have a fault Ooh, that could come back to bite us yeah um we cannot mend stuff while driving okay well let's just go out of that for a second and see what we would need to do to mend the engine let's see here okay expired filter reduces performance and increases the chance of backfires that is going to mean noise and potentially drawing things to us worst performance though i'm okay with that 10 percent gasoline we should be good so with that i'm going to go ahead and transfer all of our goodies from this vehicle to the next all right that is done and dusted now the only unfortunate thing here is if we had a rubber hose of some kind we would be able to siphon fuel from one vehicle to the other unfortunately we do not however we do have doors yeah this thing's sealed now which is really good for us um all right jumping back into that front seat we're gonna roll this car onwards and we're seeing a lot of bullets and oh that was the backfire well there we go yeah oh it is backfiring a fair amount yeah we've got feral humans here we got an opossum the town is lively indeed it is and the town is coming out to say hello to two feral humans rush out to say hey and we are going to uh wish them farewell as chesterfield Ooh, i think we're probably gonna hang a right here like so yeah that backfire is going to be uh well mildly annoying for us but i don't think it's going to really come back to bite us in the ass i guess that remains to be seen wow that vehicle's getting destroyed fast 
good job we have gotten away bicycle is certainly tempting now what do we have over here a public art piece i see so this is arlington we're going to continue heading further south what we're looking for is a road that kind of leads off like this that's where we're going to end up finding um you know a great big evac shelter giant chessboard how cool all right well onwards we go odell and the road kind of ends over towards the right hand side but i think that's probably the best way for us to go oh arlington just ends so i think if we go around here and then kind of swing back around to chesterfield that's probably going to be our best maneuver that we can pull off here we'll try to avoid zombies where we can because running into them still does damage the vehicle and uh, we want to try and keep this thing in as good condition as possible it is just a regular car so it can break apart very easily yeah this road ends here as well this is a very very small town little old arlington hey we've got a gaming store just a, a regular house yeah on towards chesterfield and to the left i think dodging around some of the bushes as we go let's continue on odell there's the road okay so left or south Honestly, I think we're gonna go south because looking at this here, if this river does lead down here, I gotta think that's either gonna be a bridge or it's gonna be a dead end. So, to the south we go. Ooh, a hive. That's an interesting sight, my friend. Yeah, over towards our right here, we have this very, very large hive that's nestled between these trees and these, yeah, large wasps the size of a large cat let's just let them be well i mean they're wasps <laughs> okay next town my friend next town we don't have a name just yet we have a museum that's potentially interesting we could have some historical weapons and whatnot in there uh for now though i think we're gonna have to plow into this tough zombie or hey no that worked out past the swat zombie well, there is certainly a population here, but it's not as big as some of the other towns we've seen. At least in terms of that population. Oh, it's a town hall as well. This is this is quite the town. This is the kind of place where I would think they probably would have an evac shelter. So let's hope that's the case as, uh, ooh, okay. Cul-de-sac to the left. So let's go ahead and swing around to the right. Ooh, narrowly missing. Okay, well, I was going to say narrowly missing the street lamp back here, but we're going to have to plow through the street lamp, at least two of them. So that's going to do some damage to our vehicle. The other option, well, we can't really head back south now. This is Surrey. Okay, so we're going to head over towards the east of the town. Let's just hope that this uh, doesn't slay us. Actually, hang on. Well, we can dodge this one at least. There we go. Oh, nope. Let's slow down here. We need to get control of the vehicle again. And now we need to speed up because we need to slam through this. There we go. We lost a little bit of the vehicle. But we are still rolling along. Okay. Look at all of those animals. Bizarre. Okay. Squirrels, crows, ravens. They're all just flooded around this vehicle. We've got a small graveyard here and something else a giant ladybug well okay we are going to continue over towards the east ah sullivan an entirely different town well let's keep on rolling sorry rabbits oh yeah i don't think odell cares that much so now we need to make a choice east or south well east is going to take us out of the town maybe that's better we can kind of just drive around the outskirts Yep, pushing aside those two uh, feral humans. We've got quite the vehicle in front of us. Wouldn't mind taking command of that. What is it that we're looking at here? It's an armored personnel carrier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be rather nice. It does seem to have wheels. So the possibility for us, to, you know, to drive that out of here is, is certainly there. But the amount of dead, yeah, I think we'll come back to that. So let's take our backfiring vehicle and we're just going to drive around the edge of the town here see what's going on drawing a lot of the dead to us okay more houses down this way as well and what looks like apartment towers yeah do we stick to the i think we stick to the east 
let's just stay on the outside, see what we got going on. We might be able to find a radio tower, something that will give us sight of the area. We do have a road that continues on towards the east. Okay. Let's follow that for now. We know that we can come back to Sullivan and Surrey, as they seem to have a pretty decent population. But there's always a chance that we could find exactly what we want. I think so. An evac shelter. C-41. Okay, Odell. With that in sight, that smile underneath of our helm grows. And damn, that's a big field. That's a lot of harvesting that could potentially happen there. If we were to stay in this area for a while. We're going to stop our noisy vehicle. And... Well, let's see if anyone's home, Odell. Closing the door behind us. What have we got? This is an evac shelter, folks. This is where many of you will start your base game experiences in Cataclysm. So we've got a lot of curtains. We could get those closed, should we desire. And there's also a fair amount of supplies here as well. Clean water, protein rations. The rations will make you upset if you eat them because they're very, very bland. But the emergency blanket and all the rest, that's the kind of stuff that will keep you alive early on. What we are here for, though, are these two computers. Either of them can kind of give us a direction, tell us where to go next, as uh, we're not seeing anyone alive here, Odell. Let's head into the basement, just to be certain. And, um, hmm, okay. We are going to need a flashlight. Right, we do have ours, but it does not have any batteries currently, because uh, I was very clever and forgot to reload that. So, oh boy, yeah, we can't see anything down here. You know what? Just to be safe, we're going to go and reload that. There we go. Locked and loaded. We've got a lot of batteries for that, so we're good in that department. At least, popping downstairs. Let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, so, bathroom here. We're looking for medical supplies, first aid kit. Excellent. We will take you the soap we can take just in case we want to do some scrubbing. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. And in here, looks like we've got something else. Okay, some more soap. We don't need that much. Unless we're going to get a whole heap of dirty um, equipment cleaned. On the floor, we have protein rations, emergency blankets. Just kind of left on the floor as well, which leads me to believe that people were here at some point, Odell. Ooh. What's that? Is that just the... That's the emergency blanket. All right, well, I wouldn't mind taking the blanket. The evacuation pamphlet will have a little bit of read of. Let's see what we got here. Welcome to your emergency survival shelter. We hope your stay here will be short and comfortable, provided are an emergency blanket, high visibility jacket, gas mask, and food and water rations for one day, as well as an emergency lighter and flashlight. There are further supplies in the communal cabinets, should the facility be over its intended capacity. These resources are checked and updated by FEMA on a regular basis. But if you find some items missing, please contact a FEMA supervisor at your earliest convenience. Please wait in the shelter until an official evacuation transport arrives to take you to your homes, or in the event of a major disaster, to the nearest evacuation gathering point. In the event that you have been evacuated under violent circumstances, FEMA recommends taking cover in the shelter's basement until help arrives. Remember, if you leave the shelter, we cannot find you and take you to safety. We'll take that uh, pamphlet as well, Odell. And, yeah, clothing. Hmm. A whistle, just in case we need to get something's attention. Sure. And just some trousers left down here. Yeah, a little bit of broken glass. There were definitely people down here, Odell, but they're not here anymore. Perhaps if we look upstairs, we might get a better idea. We'll take the protein rations. Actually, we're probably going to take all of them. There should be a lot of them still upstairs, which means that the people who were here moved on rather quickly. Just having a look at everything. Yeah, nothing specifically that we want to take. So, let's see. These are going to be filled with all kinds of rations and whatnot. A whole heap of batteries as well. So, we can do a lot of equipment gathering here. And the fastest way to do that will be using zones. We will do that. However, before we do, let's have a look at this thing here. So, the emergency message, it's effectively the same from what we can see. Contact us. What have we got, Odell? What have we got? Okay, it takes a second, but there we go. 
Refugee Center found. 434 West. That's quite far. If you have any feedback concerning your visit, please contact the Department of Emergency Management Public Affairs Office. The local office can be reached between the hours of 9 and 4. If you would like to speak with someone in person or would like to write us a letter, please send it to... And we have an address. We have an address. And using our phone, we have uh, we have access to maps. And we can see exactly where this location is. And that's the furthest out we can zoom, and we still can't see it. So... We start heading over towards the west and to the south a little bit here. And oh boy, oh boy, oh Dell, oh no, I'm still going, I'm still scrolling here. And there it is, there it is, all that way over here. That is the address that we have. And obviously Odell is all the way back over here. Scrolling, scrolling scrolling and a little bit to the east yeah there we go so that's quite the journey overland you can already see we've made it a decent way to the south but uh heading west oh boy odell you are in for quite the adventure and that i think is going to be our wind condition for odell here if we can get odell to that refugee center then he will have succeeded he will have found living people well i hope i hope Sometimes things can be quite bad at refugee centers. So what does that mean for us? It means that we need to take a really big journey overland. And that means we're going to need a vehicle that's going to be able to handle it. And that leads me to that truck that was, what, back up here, maybe? I can't remember exactly where it was. Oh boy. So I'm thinking, it is 12 now. If we bandage ourselves up, if we get prepared we can maybe go out for a night excursion to see if we can track that vehicle down. Surely we should be resting before we take on a journey such as this, but I think if we're careful, if we duck, if we weave, we might be good. The other option, of course, is to take this vehicle, take all the stuff out of it to begin with, just so we don't lose it, and then uh, try and do some clearing with it. Yeah run down a whole heap of zombies you know what i think that's what we're going to do so odell to begin with let's get everything out of that all right all of our items have been brought inside at this stage and uh yeah i mean we could wait till night to do something like this but um having sight is still very useful so we're gonna make use of that Let's go see if we can track down where this vehicle was again. So, we're going to drive... Actually, you know what? Let's just drive a little bit further along here. See if this is a farm. Okay, silo. Okay, okay. Let's go up that first. That can give us sight of the area, which will help us out. Stop the thing here. And Odell, let's get a climbing, huh? Up the silo we go. What can we see, my friend? Not too much <laughs> not too much because we're not that high up but at least we know there really isn't much else around here there is i think a trailhead over here yep so i think it was this one here either that one or that one so we'll start to head along the east of uh, sullivan and surrey to see what we can find okay so having a look at our memory of the area it's up here just by this cul-de-sac so we pretty much have to go straight from where we are at the moment which is down here i should also keep in mind that we haven't even checked to see if the vehicle has gas i don't really want to completely destroy this vehicle if it means that we get something that might not work so what i'm going to try and do is just attempt to lure some of these folks away if we can hey level two driving look at that huh so let's let them kind of start to catch up and then i think if we try and take them on you know up towards the north we can just drive in a nice leisurely pace uh we did leave the bo the boot open so it does mean that the dog can jump in here potentially so let's just go a little bit further and then i think the idea will be to really step on it to try and break our line of sight with them. Drive this thing around. I think we accidentally hit a uh, bit of brush there. And let's just start to slow down now. Unfortunately, that backfiring is gonna come back to bite us in the ass. 
I should have known. Oh, there's so many dead here. Okay, look, I think if we're fast, we can at least check this thing out. So let's stop driving. Okay, instantly we've got trouble. Ha, 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 not what I wanted, not what I wanted. Okay, we're going to start running for now. Well, no, we shouldn't. We should only start to run when we really need to run. Hmm. Though I want to try and fight you just one-on-one. -on -one. Or just shoot you. Oh, that is the, uh, that's the difficult choice for us to make right now. You know what? We've got a fair amount of armor. We should try and take them out. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, so looking at this now, that is... We want to be gone from here, and we really do want to go. So, we're actually going to start to run back. That uh, dog is probably going to catch up with us here, unfortunately. There ain't much that we can do about that. Uh, I'm probably going to want to try and shoot it before it actually, before we take a step. So, we're going to let it get nice and close to us. There we go. We're going to jump in, close that door, and we are going to get out of dodge, my friend. Let's start reversing. There we go. So, hmm. Do we want to use the vehicle to try and ram them all down? I guess the other thing that I could try and do here, and it is a little risky. First of all, start to walk. We could do a little bit of a drive-by investigation. It's possible. It's difficult, but it's certainly possible. Man, there's just, there's so many dead here. This is too risky. It's too risky. All right, we're going to start to reverse. We managed to catch one zombie with us. I think it's actually the one that was coming for us to begin with, to start off with. Okay, let's just go. Decent shot. I think it will probably bleed out. Bleeding torso. I don't really want to waste another bullet here, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop the vehicle, stop driving. Of course it did get an attack in there. Alright Odell, that's fine. This thing could bleed to death, but I don't think we're going to take the chance. Stop aiming. Let's just try to fight for it. And take the shot. Yeah, just a straight up miss. That's unfortunate and annoying. And we're grabbed as well, to make matters worse. Um, I'd like to open the door if we can. Although I know that can take time. Right, tries to penetrate our armor. Fails. <laughs> and the others are on us already. Screw this. Screw this. Ignore. Try and keep some steadiness. Fire. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Odell. Oh boy. Okay. Forwards we go. Holy crap. Okay, this is why you don't drive around with the boot open. Well, that used some gas, a fair amount of gas, and uh, we didn't really gain much from it, did we? No. So, I think in this scenario, we're probably going to be better off preparing, <laughs> properly preparing for something like that. Oh boy. We need a decent melee weapon for us to deal with the dead. And, um, well, we don't have a lot of strength. We do have some dexterity. Our martial arts skill is passable. It's not great. It certainly isn't great. Crane uses dexterity. Um, and it can get better, I believe, once our unarmed combat gets better. So we could just keep on trying to get better at that. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do for now. We're going to close up the rear of this here. We're going to go back inside. We should be safe here. I'm going to close up all of these curtains. Just so that we are nice and secure in here. We still actually have our flashlight turned on because I'm a big dummy. And uh, looking at this, our books that we had. There wasn't anything else that's going to help us specifically with... Um, unarmed combat. The first responder handbook is still useful. It's going to get our first aid to be better in general. Tactical handgun digest. We do have a handgun, so it might be better for us to just try and read through those while we can. There is a small chance that the dead could come for us here. And you know what? I think, I think we can actually climb up onto the roof through there, but we're not going to do that right now. We'll leave the door closed. We're just going to try and read. So the first responder, so the first responder handbook we can't actually learn from unfortunately uh the first aid instruction kit that we have already has taken our skill to one so tactical handgun digest can we learn anything 
from that. Uh, not really. No, no, we can't. Um, there are recipes in there that we don't know, but we already have one to handgun. So there ain't nothing that we can learn from that there. So next up, I think mechanical mastery is probably going to be beyond us, but the water survival training, that can get us a little bit of athletics. So I'm on board with that. Let's read it, see if we can. Okay, that can get our athletics up to three, which decent decent mechanical mastery we need mechanics of three we've got zero so let's start off with this one here learn a little bit about water survival and oh boy it is slow going slow slow going we are dead tired so we are going to stop there now at 4 55 we are thirsty we are hungry the protein rations they take away our joy a lot so probably it's still worth us having them, really. We do have clean water stashed away in here as well. It is probably not drinkable in its current state, frozen. Mm -hmm. So we need to think about how we are going to heat our food. We do have a, well, actually it's in here. We do have a fry pan now, but we don't have any portable cooking tools. And unfortunately, in here, there isn't anything that's going to help us with that as well. So, what the best thing for us to do here is just to make a fire. And we want to make sure that, that is a relatively safe fire. Something that isn't going to spread that far. Now, things change all the time in Cataclysm. But I would have to assume that if we can... Actually, I was going to say make a digging stick. We don't need to. I believe we have an entrenching tool here somewhere. Let's see. Yes, we do. Entrenching tool. Fantastic. So we will take that. We're going to go and dig a little pit outside. And I'm going to go for kind of on the south side here because I don't want uh, anything to really see the light that can come from our fire. There's no, yeah, there's no homes around here. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and activate entrenching tool. We're going to dig a pit just like so. This is a shallow pit. I believe it would be better if it's a deep pit. So let's try and see if we can... Oh, we're going to have to dig a... Actually, hang on. If I dig a... One moment. Construction. I'm actually uncertain if I can make that a deep pit and still be able to get out of it. Because I'm pretty sure that we can clamber out of deep pits. I'm going to go with the idea that a shallow pit is probably good enough to keep our fire semi-contained. Yeah, the other thing that we can do is make a fire ring, which does need a shallow pit, uh, which is going to safely contain fire. So we need to have a, a semi-decent amount of rock to be able to do that. We do have some from just digging that up. How much rock do we get from that? We got three rocks, so it took a little bit of energy for us to do that. But if we dig a few pits around here, we could have everything we need. The other option, of course, is to try and bash some of these uh, smaller boulders. But, you know, what? I think we're going to go with that, actually. I'm going to go see if we can get a plank and then just do some bashing. So we're just going to go and deconstruct this bit of furniture here, just so that we can get a decent plank. A bash of tin, it's not half bad. Is it going to be enough with the current strength that we have and our tiredness? Maybe not. Oh yeah, no, that's totally good enough. And we get four rocks just like that. So yeah, good option for us. All right, two rocks. All right, another six. Another three, we have, and another three. We've got to be close now, I think. So heading back up towards that pit here. Let's see if that's gotta be possible. Oh, we're one short. <laughs> there we go, last rock. Fantastic, let's do this thing. Okay. Build fire ring. There we go. We got a fire ring to safely contain our fire. Okay, we've grabbed a whole heap of clean water from bottles inside. It's all frozen for now. Okay, all right. Let's use the matchbook. We start a fire here. Uh, we'll just back off by a square. We should be good where we are now. And we're going to use the pan here. Oh, right. we have to get right by it. Of course we do. Well, smoke inhalation shouldn't be as bad outside. We're going to go ahead, begin by just heating up some water. Yay. Done. Dusted. Okay, we want to probably try and drink until our thirst is good. We're at a normal weight now, so we definitely need to make sure that we actually eat, though. I'm thinking we go for the bacon. And while we're here, 
Let's go get some cranberry juice. Nice. So we'll drink that, eat the bacon. We're slaked now at this stage, but we still hungry, so we could probably do with something to eat. Um, bad fe- we've got a bad feeling. Okay. I'm guessing that's coming from us not killing something regularly. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna go and take one of our antipsychotics and see if that helps somewhat. Yeah. I mean, we're having a nice hot meal outside. We got this fire ring. We got some things going for us, my friend. All right. A little bit more heating up here. What do we want to go for next? The can of beans? Probably. We've got quite a bit of bread, so I'm happy about that. The protein rations are a fallback for us. There we go. Satisfied. We'll just hold on to the other bit of the beans for now. Odell? Not bad, my friend. Not bad. But dead tired? He is going to need to sleep. Downstairs is going to be the safest place to sleep, I think. Yeah. So, emergency blanket. We've still got it. Yep. So, we're going to head downstairs. Find ourselves a spot. I mean, all of this is not great. It's not going to be comfy. Just on a bench. We could sleep in the car, but... I don't know, there's just something about being down here. It's dark, it's quiet, it's calm. Let's activate the emergency blanket so it's on the floor just beneath us. Okay. And with that, I think we're going to try and sleep. But let's just, let's take off our, our helmet before we do. Yeah. There we go, Odell. A little bit more comfy. I was going to say let's sleep, but just before we do that, let's head back upstairs. We're not going to sleep without our rifle. We don't have as many shots left for it now. But it is giving us a kind of comfort. I think sleeping without it, it's not going to sit so well for Odell. Okay. And so with that, let's say we are sure we want to sleep. Let's just check our wounds. Ah, no. <laughs> let's go ahead and bandage our head and torso. Head first and torso second. There we go. So they should heal up just fine. And... This time, we will start to sleep. No setting an alarm, we finally fall asleep, and I bet it feels good. I bet it feels good. The day rushes by. Just one more death, one more kill, and we'd be right. And we wake up. It's 3.50 in the morning, very hungry, still tired. We heard a thump, Odell. Where did that thump come from? We go to our inventory. We activate that flashlight. And let's go and put on our mask. Yes. Was it from upstairs? Or was it the store here? We clutch the rifle close. Okay. Not down here. It has to be upstairs then. We peek. All is clear. Nothing's in here. Yet. But we definitely heard a wump. Or did we? Was it our imagination? We opened the front door, our light illuminating the night, our fire now extinguished. Heading right around the property, we see nothing. No one is here, Odell. Just you. We close the door. There is one more door. This one up here, it's locked. I think, compelled, needing to know, Odell is gonna start to bash this thing down, making noise himself. No one's here, just a ladder. And no one's on the roof either. Just you, my friend, just you. And so, we make our way back downstairs checking each corner we're fine we're safe as much as one can be down here and we turn that flashlight back off we take that food person mask off we catch our breath and we go to sleep yet again okay we have trouble getting to sleep we're just gonna keep on trying glass shattering I think we're hearing things. We're going to take some more of this. 
we feel a little bit wobbly. It's 5.12. I want us to be properly rested here. Let's go back to sleep if we can. And there we go. We fall back asleep. We need to kill. The drive is there again, Odell. And we wake up. It's nearly 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Our head is nearly completely healed. We're very hungry. We're thirsty. We can deal with those things. Odell, we need to get ready for an overland trip. We need to make sure that we can make or utilize a weapon that is going to work well for you in melee. A spear or something like that at the start can be invaluable. So, we'll think about that going forwards. As we have a little bit of time to prepare before we begin this odyssey, and it will be an odyssey, we have such a long way to go to make it to that center. Can he make it in one piece? We will see. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.